गुड आफ्टरनून गुड आफ्टरनून हाँ फैजान डिस्क्राइब योर सेल्फ इन द बेस्ट पॉसिबल मैन यू वॉन्ट टू बी डिस्क्राइब मैन इज फैजान अबीबा आई एम फ्राम लरेबल विच इज इन हंदवारा कुपवारा डिस्ट्रिक्ट सो आई हैव डन सॉट फ्री इंजीनियर फ्राम एन आई टी श्रीनगर एंड डन सिंस एन आई एम फॉर सिविल सर्विस ओके योर ऑप्शनल सब्जेक्ट फॉर सम पेपर इज फिलासफी इट्स फिलासफी इट्स फिलासफी यू रीड फिलासफी फॉर द एग्जाम फॉर एग्जाम वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन रीडिंग फिलासफी फॉर एग्जाम एंड देन रीडिंग फिलासफी फॉर प्लेजर वॉट यू नो अबाउट फिलासफी हाउ डू डिफाइन इट सो फिलासफी बेसिकली इट इज टू लुक इन टू दी बेसिक फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ नॉलेज नेचर एंड अदर थिंग सो बट वेन वी रीड रीड इट फॉर प्लेजर so basically what we are trying to do is to know like higher higher selves of ourselves so we don't want to restrict ourselves to commonalities but when we when we have exam in mind so you basically have to prescribe a self assessment you have to that's good that. okay so this is your fourth third time three third, times third. you have third time two twice you have appeared yes so you are hell bent you just want to chase it do yes. it yes sir why such passionate interest in civil so, service so it's an interesting job it is a very diverse field you can like literally have after being say employed somewhere within like many departments many people people to people contact and all those things which prescribes to my nature how good are you in your life as a decision maker when there's a confusing situation as to whether to do a or b this way or that way yes, how quick you make your decision sometimes one can get confused but usually like I give a thought and then I I am with the decision. I always I always think that it's not the decisions which are bad; it's how you handle them after that. Okay. Decisions can are neutral, to be honest. So you want to practice that in your civil yes, service days. Done. Over. You had done around six years back, B Tech. Yes, sir. Since then, you are all doing only preparation for civil service, or you are doing some job because IT has a great demand. Have you not applied or? Take any job outside? No, sir. I have not applied. So not. I have basically prepared for. I am focusing this one, and I am giving some uh, related exams for the UPSC. So otherwise, I am not doing anything related to my core field. You are from Kofuara. Any uh, historical background about uh, Kofuara? Sir, Kofuara. Any is, famous personalities? Yes, sir. <coughs> sir. Actually, Kofuara is famous for Beta Valley, and in Beta Valley there is Anwar Shah Kashmiri, who is uh, one of the greatest Islamic scholar till date. Wow. What is he? Bang- What is Anwar Shah Kashmiri? So he is an Islamic scholar. He has been. He uh, is. Uh, yes, sir, he was actually. Yeah. So um, uh, he actually uh, he was born in 1875, and they left the world in 1933. His, so uh, he has you know been. Any of his famous book or some? Yes, sir. It is uh, Mushkilat e Quran, and he has also done commentary on Sahih Bukhari. And I don't See, know which la- yeah. which language, but I think it's Urdu. I'm not sure about properly. That's good. Bangas Valley is. Yes, sir. It's yes, so it's an uh, upcoming. It's current tourist destination, but upcoming developing tourist destination in. Kofara. What is the altitude of that Bangas Valley? Uh, I think it is. Have you gone? Uh, yes, sir. Once. Have you visited it? Once. What is the altitude? Around five thousand feet. No, it's higher than that. It's, it's above five thousand. What is at present uh, doing being practiced? What are the activities being done in Bangas Valley at present? So uh, be, currently, it is being developed for like uh, snow type uh, winter when winter games type of stuff where you can go and go. But there is also a prescribed project where it is said that it might be can you can say it, uh, a golf course might be uh, put there. So this another and they are also creating an, another path through kind of uh, forest type of path. And which make him try types which tries to make it as raw as possible, raw nature, which is the selling point of Bangas. You also you have written your mother as a home homemaker. Yes. What is that? So she actually she takes care of children and house. Why not housewife? Housewife, sir. So housewife is the basic older connotation. I don't like it because it usually means she has to stuck to home, so she's there and there. But I feel it's more than that. She has to take care of. Ho- How you describe your mother as homemaker? What? She yes, has given you as you feel her. She's a homemaker. So I think confidence. So she is really confident in whatever she does. She like 
right now currently is in every point of her life she is there and she like has told me to tackle everything how you can like in each best possible way thank you then you mentioned online gaming as your hobby is it a, is it a healthy one we talk about it all it all depends on the control like no habit is good or bad unless it is control are like, there any benefit of online gaming for say teenager Yes, ma'am. Few of the benefits like uh, reaction time increases, cognitive abilities, multitasking, all these things get improved because of online gaming. And you also sometimes you get to form a different community where you can play with uh, people of different nationalities, like Chinese, so the UAE, Russian. So you think it's also a way to bond with people? Yeah. Have you heard about categorical imperative? Yes, sir. What is it? It's the concept pro propounded by ethical concept to be propounded by Immanuel uh, Immanuel Kant. and which it means that for us to do good is not choice we have to do it anyhow like it should be our moral duty to do good uh what do you know about yoga as a school of philosophy so yoga philosophy it is unique in the kind that it um, merges theory and practice so it is not any theory like you have to do this and then you will it kind of takes our body and maintain like takes our body and soul together to be more better. so what is the aim what is the aim So the aim is always liberation to reach to our higher selves. No, oh, thank you. Faisal, I think you said that uh, no hobby is good or bad. How do you categorize the habit of flying? So sometimes it can be beneficial, but usually it's bad. And if I go by Emmanuel Emmanuel Kant, so it is always bad. Okay. Uh, your hobby is playing chess. Who's your favorite chess player? I think uh, it's Hikaruna um, Kumara. Why? He's interesting. I have I watch a lot of his streams, and he's interesting. He teaches a lot of stuff. So his general likability, like I started gaining interest in chess because of him. Your background is in BTEC IT. Tell me, what is data mining? Yes, sir. So sure, actually, sir, data mining is because sir, today we have we are getting a lot of data. Like like each and every user is connected to internet, and these are controlled by some background companies or whatever. So data mining is basically when we want to like check like uh, look into this data and get some particular outcomes I think that is data like to get deeper into the data and get the really relevant outcome How is that different from big data analysis Big data so big data actually is specific to really really huge huge data like in ter ter terabytes and even more like terabytes a small word when we consider big data so big data analytics like you have a whole lot of like uh, domain like when you talk about big data you are not talking about a single person we talk about whole society for example big data might be used in say for them using during elections like like to check um, like uh, likability or anything about particular constituency or country or anything okay knowing what you know about it tell me how does uh, the concept of cryptocurrencies work it's a concept of cryptocurrency like, cryptocurrency is basically use blockchain network they which uh, blockchain network basically they use public ledgers So public ledgers are verified by many nodes. Like I can be a node, you, anyone can be a node who is interested. In this increases the security, and also these nodes at the back of there are some uh, security features like encrypted, encrypted data. And if like a, a wrong block comes in, so it will be recognized because the previous node has some data about the next node. So these are some security features of, and this is how it works. Like basically, when a user makes a transaction, it creates a block. This block is highly secure, and this is how cryptocurrency works. If a, if a block has been added to the already existing chain, can it be altered? Uh, no, no, sir. We can add another block which nullifies the changes done before, but we cannot. Add so, it. if we if I create an application out of the blockchain with non Z, do I need RBS permission for that? Uh, I am not sure, sir. Tell me about uh, the national strategy on blockchains. Currently, yeah. So, uh, currently, I think uh, yeah, government is being cautious about it. There have been warnings by RBI and even by. government itself but uh, they even are like on the other hand they are all also taxing it like there was a 30% tax tax on cryptocurrency gain so in general i feel they are like right now it's basically wait and watch approach there are few countries like el salvador who have uh, like accepted bitcoin and i'm not talking about bitcoin they are cryptocurrencies i'm talking about blockchain technology okay sorry 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 sir blockchain so blockchain technology yes, sir it has potential to be used in many sectors like education medical and so so but really right now like it is in the more kind of in talks but less to be so how can blockchain help in administration in administration sir first i think it's will really be huge in uh, tackling corruption 
because uh, if it's used like as I said that blocks cannot be altered, cannot be changed. So each and every transaction, and by transaction I mean administrative process, can be recorded in this way, and so that we, like we will have more transparent, efficient, and corruption-free administration. Well, can you give me three basic differences between quantum computers and your traditional computers? Exactly. So first, traditional computers work on um, uh, binary bits, zero and one. However, quantum computers have can go even more than that. So basically, they have more bits. So like uh, I think uh, it's I am not as how many more, but for example, there are these quantum states. So like for example, we have zero and ones here. So in there, there are there are two bits which uh, like give us more. Like I am not sure, but and they have highly so for, by having more bits, like which I use the term qubits. So they can do a lot of more of processing. How? Yes, sir. For example, when I have a bit, as I said, there are only two states, zeros and ones. But the same bit in quantum computer doesn't have only two states, it has more than that. So obviously right now we have two raised power n, like uh, process. What do, what, what do we call that position in quantum physics? I'm not sure, but I think it has something to do with quantum what, entanglement. What concepts of quantum mechanics versus quantum computing? So I think quantum entanglement one, and uh, this is some phase something, like I'm not sure. What are cyber physical systems? Cyber physical systems. Uh, your hobby is playing cricket or watching cricket? So both. Both. And your favorite cricket to this? I think uh, Virat Kohli. Why? So his dedication is it's about charts. Like he has this aggression which dedicates and motivates him to do better each and every day. He is not as skillful as other players, but currently with his hard work, he has managed to be at the top of the bank. Suppose you have to allocate your resources and the resources are limitless, but you only have two choices, defense or education. Okay. Where would you allocate your resources? Sir, I think I would allocate to defense. Okay. So because education has a triple down effect, it affects each and every sector. Like after in the future, we will have better defense because of proper education today. If I allocate resources to defense, I am defended right now, but after 10 years, I might be compromised. So a future-proof strategy will be to invest in education. Uh, Mr. Fazan, yes. uh, you said that uh, online gaming has, has benef cognitive benefits. Yes. So what are the cognitive benefits? So cognitive benefits. Uh, sir, because of online gaming. So as I said, it's increased your, it decreases your reaction time. Hmm. So and uh, another is like, uh, also when we are playing uh, games, you need to be really high, highly attentive. So it increases our concentration and also there is this detailed oriented concentration like you have to like concentrate for each and every bit of change like in gaming it's really too complicated and also multitasking abilities get increased because you have to focus on various aspects during a game like your your hands are like moving the mouse or you are using keyboard and then you're also communicating with your friends so all these kind of things make you cognitive better to handle situations like which are response like react kind of situations. So all, all the lobes of the brain are involved simultaneously. Yes, sir. So, how many hours you spend while gaming? So, currently I have been out of touch, but usually two to three hours. So, when we call, call it as a pathological ga gaming or pathology, no, addiction. Yeah. So, when will we call it? So, I think when, like, I feel when it is, uh, uh, influences upon other sectors of your life. Like, if I compromise my education, my health, and related aspects, is then there I any see. time span as well? So how I'm many not, hours you so I'm not spend? Sure You're not sure about that. Okay. So, is there any uh, link between philosophy and psychology? So I'm not sure, but there should be. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're not sure. So, what type of personality you are having? My, sir, I think I will go by some. I go by philosophical ideals. I always think that I have to achieve higher things. So, which will keep me going in my life. So, this is my like, but like basically, by higher thing, I mean I want to be a good person, which I think is a better way to look at it. When you will be holding an important chair, mm -hmm. in, you will come into administration, and your goal is always to touch skies. Okay. Do you mean to say that? You want uh, yes, to go sir. high? Yes, sir. But by high, I didn't mean like official positions or something or materialistic gains. It's basically to be a better version of yourself, but good person each and every, which is a lot more difficult to attain. Attain. Okay, thank you. Okay, good, Rajan. It was nice. One, I liked your uh, this natural way of expressing yourself as if you are 
there will be no difference between you talking to your friends and you talking to panelists. That's very nice, that's natural, that, that speaks of the flair with which you're talking. But one thing is to be controlled, don't move too much. You swing a lot when you talk like this. This is to be deliberately controlled. You be conscious of the fact that you, you are moving, wriggling your body too much. Because what it does is that some way or around that you lose concentration or you'll, it, it's disturbing even for your listeners also. That's one thing. Second is good. One little correction, not one of the greatest scholar, one of the greatest scholars. Uh, this is a commonly done mistake and this that I wanted to rectify. The rest is good. It's okay. And, uh, try to clear your uh, language. You just have some time. Uh, I think this is not mean, but this will be this. As uh, they say, I know, but never say that uh, uh, I don't know, thing, but I think this is. Uh, yeah, either say I don't know or say from my, my, my opinion, this is the earth. But uh, I don't know, I, th I think this is, this is a negative impact. Try to give a positive impact, otherwise you and have a good dress up also when you are coming to interview. That's actually Prepare sorry. a proper dress up, so that it looks that you have come for administrative post and it will give a sense, positive sense, otherwise your everything is knowledge, something, so get some political knowledge as well as some gross fruit, uh, Current affairs, we are aware about economy, current affairs, so I will update your knowledge about that. In your view of communications, uh, as you have that uh, freshness, that informality, that's fine, but I would want you to temper it with a little formality. Like uh, he said, don't think to yourself uh, below. You use a lot of hand movements, try, try to avoid like, talking to and whenever you want to ask a panelist to repeat a question, like the answer asked you about something, it me, don't do this. See, sir, sorry, could you repeat the question? Parting say, could you repeat the question? Like, okay. And uh, that is one I, I saw that in a lot of other questions you did that. And uh, when I asked you something related to philosophy, you said that it is out of syllabus. Nothing is out of syllabus for you as, a, um, as an aspirant for the six hour. So simply say, oh, so I'm not able to recall what I do. Don't say that it is out of syllabus. And I also kind of did not like very much the way you mentioned your interest about philosophy. There should be a bit more gravitas to you as a candidate for this exam. So try to prepare a better answer for that. We obviously all understand that you, all of us, did it for the examination. But try to have a, too much of honesty is also a bad thing sometimes. But otherwise, you're a good candidate. Um, so work on your if you speaking skills a bit. Okay, rush 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 Rest every day. Both the same Take a pause. Pause. Clearly. Quick. Some of us are coming, some of us are not coming. You're so fast talking, you're not I had to bend like this. To understand your language, thoda sa. I will. I will try to improve. Yes, work on it. Let's do it. Thoda sa ho jaye. Jo ma'am ne aapko kaha, bilkul exactly. Maine bhi wohi points lagaye the. Aapka hand gesture kafi zada hai. Movement up zada karte ho. Aur kafi haste mein ho, jald bazi mein ho. And you don't have a multifaceted approach to your answers. Multidimensional answer nahi dete ab. Ek point hai aapke paas, wo aapne de diya aur khatam. Ek satisfying answer hona chahiye. Sir, is mein ye teen reasons hai. One, two, three karke teen reasons de diya. Thik hai na? Baki, all the best. <laughs>